Hey guys, welcome back. Rod Andrew here bringing you a new Let's Play over on the channel. We're going to be picking it up on L.A. Noir. It's a fan favorite of mine from a long time ago. I played this game on midnight release and beat, and I did not beat it. I think my little brother snapped my disc in half because he's a little bastard half the time. And he always wanted to steal my stuff because you know how siblings are when they're young. So... Uh, over on my channel with uh, that huge summer sale, I got a couple games from them to play. I'm going to be doing this, No Man's Sky, um, and what the hell is the other one? State of Decay. I know, I know you've probably already seen them from other people, but I haven't played them and you haven't seen my goofy ass play them. So sit back, subscribe, and let's, let's save a some city pookers. city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city. Based not on the man. I love older style games and Colorado, crime games when you get to solve puzzles and vitality. Get some suspects, eh? For every oh, man can own his own oh home. My, oh that my god. Agree, not be overlooked by his neighbors. Brenda McNarva. Just the sounds like a fat lady's name. Is his castle. A Go Brenda, where the, the, the chin's at? By victory. I think this game is like 2008. It still looks pretty good to be as old as it is. Rockstar games usually nail it. They're like probably my other other top three favorite studios besides Naughty Dog is always going to be number one. I remember that from playing the story. I never played none of the DLC, and we're going to play through all of it. I probably keep up each episode about 30 plus minutes long. That way, I don't have too many parts. That way, I'm not spam uploading the channel like I have been lately with Mafia 2. But I didn't realize that game was as long as it was since it's been so long. Oh my, hello, titties, titties, titties. That is was as long as it was. Dude, I'm so excited. I love cop games. Battlefield Hardline, superb. A city of undercurrents. That dude just looks like a douchebag. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. California. Come on, city that get has through no it. Looks like Legos. As far as the eye can see. We're working on Uncharted 2, guys. That we speak. I'm not gonna up upload any Uncharted 2 or 3 or or upload any Uncharted 2 to I finished recording it all. In the, and the same Corps, with 3, that way I can just upload command. it and I don't have to worry about the get made, rendering or editing. I recorded the first you know two hours the other night the same team. so we can start playing the this. With corruption is like you never know what you can do is on the pad, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch command. I'll shut up so we can hear this guy. So who do you trust, Cole? Wait. I made up my mind a long time ago. KGBL calling car 14 Adam 14 Adam come in. Yeah, I read you. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform oh, assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, code 2. Hello. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Oh man, we're driving already? Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the you can beam tell it's of old, sunshine but it's good. Look <laughs> out! Oh my god, we have a siren! We have a siren! That is so cool! Fuck a duck, dude. Driving in this is so, like, touchy. Hello! Detective Cole here. Ready and on the case. Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. No, you're my backup, you we'll cocksucking mother. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male, bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got places here. to be. Happy hunting. What a dickhead. This is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. 
Probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll okay. talk it out. See for her. Two heads That's are always weird. better than one. Oh. Are we gonna find anything? Look at this junk. What now? Have a good look around. It could be anywhere. I'm looking. Don't rush. Don't tell me, dude. I'll hit you with it's the not flashlight. my job to pick through other people's trash. It is your job to be a cop. That's what's wrong with cops nowadays. It's Jeez. not my job to find the killer. Cole, come take a look at this. Examined. Ah, just left click. Okay. That's simple. New clue. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. That's a little odd. Have a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Is that tab to open notebook? Or which button is it? I caught her on the counter. It wasn't me. I got a blood suit on the counter. It wasn't me. You can. Oh my God, they're stupid. You can see it. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right. Don't hurt yourself. All right, buddy. Don't hurt yourself. The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. Jesus, this dude's a monkey. That sounds terrible. He's a spider monkey. Uh... What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Do I shimmy up this one? Oh, is it on this roof? Shit. How you doing, Cole? I'm Found all right, buddy. Yet? Smith and Wesson, serial S71893. Two bullets. Two missing. rounds fired. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun true. store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Well, let's go. Are you sure about this? It's not really our gig. Yes, I'm no sure. harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. I'm Such so excited to play this. It's, I can't, you can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd yep. rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fun. The dialogue's really loud. I like it. Much. Usually, in most games, the dialogue's so low you can't really understand. Hey, guys, what are you doing? Now I'm like, ah! Watch it! Shut up, bitch. I like how he's like a couple blocks away. We're literally driving to Nevada from Cali. It looks so old school and bland, the city life. I love it. Like, look how much... Have you got a death wish? If you look at this game compared to Mafia 2, compared to GTA 5, like side by side, dude, like... It is just unreal how much the open world genre has, like, progressed over the years. Cause I mean, like, there's some, there's some life to the city, yeah, of course. Cause it's open world, it has to be to make it believable. Mafia 2 was more believable. People walked around, they talked, they interacted with you. This game on GTA 5, holy potato sacks, dude. Gun store, 10:25 p.m. We saw ammo. Learn to shoot. Guy looks like a tool bag. 
Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith yeah. & Wesson, model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357, nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. Jesus. These that, babies? It's a hell of a gun. available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? Model. Model. We're in luck. Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, oh, you've nice. been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. That sounds so fake. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. Did I not finish my investigation? Because it, was, it wasn't marked out. What are you doing to this car? And you can tell, like, GTA 5 and the older GTAs were like, it's procedur procedurally, I can't say that word, procedurally generated. Which means it's there, but it doesn't generate Watch in it. until you that wasn't get so close, hard, like this game. Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. You'll see stuff like so. fade in when we get close. So the One ram, it's not taking so much ram on the... Using a real name? If on the game sure, or the console no itself back in the day. Most of them aren't. That's why they so at get least caught. lose some stress Two off of it so you can have better, on better graphics Another and more from the fidelity in, in your of thin air. field of view you instead really of that building you see over there to the right. Instead of them having nothing. I don't remember this game jumping me right into this stuff. It's been so long since I played it. I'm sure a lot of people overlook this hidden gem. To me, I like this better than Sherlock Holmes. That's coming out of your wages, not mine. You can suck my ass for my wages, not mine. Short as a pot, at 10.40 p.m. We're going to get the perpetrator. Gotta get the perpetrator. Hey, suck me. Golden handle doors allow you to enter. Schroeder's apartment two. Schroeder, apartment two. I got it, buddy. Open up. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. There's no way. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. You started. I'll finish it. Damn, finally, it wouldn't do it Ralph, for like 30 right? seconds. I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm going to take a look around. 
investigation music plays when you enter a crime scene location and are a person of interest. Artery Rosenberg, summons for Career Clayton, they are a traitor. Floyd Rose. List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 1247. Ah, oh, come on, dude. It was just getting good. I wanted to investigate. I wanted to put my, uh, my wits. All three wits of them. This is a flashback. Can I go to the service? You dumb fucking sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but... Excuse me? Fuck you! You say <laughs> another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for... I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. <laughs> God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. <laughs> All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. What a pussy. I don't know what... Oh, I'm in dangerous. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight. Solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like... I love politics. games that are good with, like, color There's palettes no and stuff fence. like that. Like, this you game's got good sides. color palettes to make the city life look believable. Or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. They could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan. 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identifying code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from here. 14 well, Adam take calling it. KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised, suspects oh, are Oh, we're about to start with case with number, numero Roger two. KGPL. 14 Adam on route. Whee! Oh, dude. Yeah! Uh, we're not gonna talk about it. Oh, your sister taught me. <laughs> and you're a fat cunt. Make it quick, you guys. The cops are here. We gotta move it. So what's going on? Do I get to shoot someone, whack somebody, whack off somebody, jerk so What? How oh, you brought out a shoddy? God dang, son! Try for the front door. Left control to. We don't know how many are in there. Take it slow. Kill a cop, and it's the electric chair. Damn! That's it? We got them all? I guess. I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. 
That's pretty Lieutenant sick. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. You guys going to bang now? Because I would. Flashbacks, dude. They're kind of cool, but we kind of feel like they're this kind of opportunity comes along I once in a lifetime. Hank. Splitting up the story. I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future. Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? He's, they both have a point. I mean, if you're in the war, I mean, and your job is to lead, then you're supposed to lead. Cole Phelps you're supposed to take Kelso. your men in there. With some people. But then it's like a double-edged sword, so you grab the other side of the blade, and then you get your men killed, maybe. For you to take all the credit and get a purple heart. Wound way too tight. And Kelsey. I don't have the patience or never walk away. I couldn't I don't agree with half the the military aspects. I know we need military in any form of country for protection and all that. And I salute every veteran that's ever done anything. In my case you can add the war to that. Help us get to where we are today. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped parole. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bowers, stop! LMPD! We're coming for you, baby. Uh huh, uh huh. Why you? Watch it! He's hiding in the alley! That's sad. Come here, bitch! I don't know, why are we chasing him? Bowers, hold it right there! Stop now or I will shoot. I won't tell you again, Wendell. Jesus, Doug, watch your fire. You don't want to do this, Wendell. <laughs> We're just climbing it so right fast. Now. Give it up, Wendell. Damn, dude. Stay the hell away from me. Ow, oh, God almighty. You've got to be kidding. Well, you fucking ask for it. Oh, I'm gonna beat the hell out of you for kicking me in my face. That's my good side. There's no way I'm going back inside. I've done my time. It's over, Bowers. You assholes already screwed me once. What do you mean, screwed you? Catch him, Cole. Give it up, Bowers. There's nowhere left to go. Oh my god! Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Mm, you sack of shit! Come on. Yeah, that's what I Wendell? thought. Your parole officer's feeling lonely. <laughs> He's got a hole We're in the his Brooklyn life for brawler, like son. You. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. Thanks, buddy. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. The Iron nice Hotel. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? I mean, I just have the ass and legs of a Greek god. Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de corps. Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership. Donahoe, 8. Franklin, 7. Merrill, six. Kowalski, six. Weiss, five. Hudson, five. Kelso, one. Candidate Kelso! 
I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in the schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now! <laughs> Something's gonna happen. One of us is gonna end up fighting or killing each other. I'm calling that in a flashback. Buyer beware! Ah! For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. Oh, this damn. could be the one goal. What happened? No one saw the shooter? LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. <laughs> Broad daylight. Crowded street. Yeah, who would shoot a guy in mid-daylight? Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. Shit, no. Anything? I'm not having any luck with this search, man. What was that? Galetta, Peril Earnings, Retail Receipt, Layaway Badge. Okay. C. Galetta, Layaway Receipt, Pearl Earrings, made out to Bank of Arcadia. Fuck, fuck. Damn it, dude. All right, all it's right. Yes, it's a dead person. Nothing. What's so shiny? Shell cases. Thirty-two. Thirty-twos. We should make sure we've checked the whole crime scene before questioning the witness. Uh, can I can I help you, sir? There's obviously something I'm missing. Missing. There's nothing on that hand. Officer Phelps, miss, I'm here Hi. About shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he, 
He was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name. Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Clovis Galletta. You think you could tell me exactly what happened, Miss? Oh, I, was like, I look what? around the shops at lunch. I was in a she store. She seems like she's when fake crying. Mr. To me. Gage, my boss. Bursts in what you yelling think? that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. Galetta, you know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. Who? He runs the jewelry store. Let's play he Clue. Me a I love that watch. board game. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callow looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. If you think... You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. <laughs> How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's We're on the remember. case, boys. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. Concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then three very quickly close together. Five. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. Earning experience. We'll need you to make a formal statement rewards. about Ooh, what nice. happened, Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my... You wish you can break cases by hand my... interrogation skills, achieving a new rank. Never mind. Oh, many points at any location. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. Evidence. Try, bitch, you will. I'm trying to imagine you with a personality. Going to church doesn't make you a Christian any more than staying in the garage makes you a car. What am I supposed to do?
Am I supposed to do anything now? Let's go to the jewelry store. Shake, 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 shake it. It's gonna be hard later on, I can tell, to tell when a character is telling the truth. Because on the second one, I mean on the third one, it didn't look like she was telling the truth to me. And I just passed the little arrow. Oh my. E brake? God dang it, son. We're on the way to the jewelry store. Hartfield Jewelry Store, 2:36 p.m. All right, guys. I know we're at the jewelry store, and we're ready to crack this case wide open, and we will in the next episode. If you guys are enjoying this series as much as me, drop a thumbs up. It helps out the channel a lot, as you already know. And if you haven't, then please click that subscriber button and subscribe to stay up to date with everything I'm currently working on. And you know you want to. It's it. Anyways, I'm Raw Dog, and I will see you guys in the next video. Wake up. See you. We got Jeff Star, 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 we